Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to upload custom music into your game. Now, the first thing you're going to need is Audacity, so you go down in the description and then you'll see a link to download it. It's completely free, so go to get it. Next, what you want to do, as soon as you open up a new tab, go to Preferences and go to the Import Export option and you should see a sign that says Use Custom Mix. You want to tick that. If you do this often and you want to make your life easier, just go to Preferences, Quality and change the 32-bit float to the 16-bit float. Now what you want to do is you want to get your custom song and drag it into the audacity bin and then let it load. Your project rate should be 41,000 hertz, but if it's not, change it to 48,000, export it as an mp3 file again, and then load it back up into audacity. Now Marvel vs. Capcom reads audio in 6 tracks, so what you're going to want to do is go to the tracks, add new audio tracks, and keep adding stereo tracks. You're going to want to add 4 of them. Only 4 though, if you add more than 4, it's going to mess everything up. Alright, so next you're going to hit file. Next you guys are going to want to click file export and then I'm going to show a list of what numbers you're looking for to replace your song as. So for example, you, so for example, you can change it to bmg underscore st underscore 000. Now make sure you have the OGG Vorbis file selected, that's OGG VOBIS file and set up the bumper of quality to 10. Now there's going to be a window that pops up. When that happens, make sure that the channels it's outputting to is only 6, not 10. Because if it's 10, it's going to mess things up. It's going to make it sound horrible. Next, you're going to see an edit metadata window appear. And it is important that you click clear to make sure that all the data is erased. Now, in the blank void underneath comments, you're going to type in capital V, lowercase e, lowercase r. And then in the box next to it, to the right, the number 0002. Next, you're going to want to export your file and then make sure that's all good. Now, when you go to your desktop for the first time, it's going to have a weird icon. Don't worry, it's completely fine. So you're going to want to rename your file to the original file that's on the Marvel vs. Capcom sound thing. So next, you're going to want to go into your program files or wherever you have your Steam library at. You want to click Steam. You want to click Steam Apps, Common, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Native PC, Sound, BMG, Source, and then you're going to see a whole line of SNGW files. As a side note, I want to make sure you guys back up your source sound files just in case you don't want that theme anymore. I made that mistake the first time with Phoenix Wright's theme. But if you guys end up wanting to move it away from something, all you have to do is like change your Steam library location and then that'll reset everything. What you're going to want to do with this is find out what number your character was for the character theme and rename your original file that has the weird icon on your desktop that. So if it was for say, I don't know, zeros, it'd be bmg underscore cr underscore zero one one dot sngw. That would be zeros. So you're going to want to change it to that. Then you're going to want to drag the file. It'll give you a prompt to say if you want to change the format, you just want to click yes. And then change the desktop version of the sngw file over to the source file. And then when that happens, you should be all good. So now if we go back into the game, we should have our audio as you hear now. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next modding tutorial.